Yo guys, it's Joshua Baptiste. <clears throat> Welcome to another video. And I am here to talk about one of the most overlooked and one of the most disrespectful players from the 1950s and the 1960s uh, uh, NBA basketball wise. Now this dude's name, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. His first name is Paul. It's like Air Arizon. I think it's Paul Arizon. He's one of the most disrespectful players of his time. And I'm a and I'ma have evidence to back that up. Yeah. Now, you probably know about the Elgin Baylors and the Wilts and the Bill Russells and the John Havlicek's of the fifties and sixties. You you probably do. But a player that you probably do not know is Paul Arizon. Now, now, um, now I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over his his statistics, um, his awards, um, um, um all of that. Uh, first he he got into the Hall of Fame in 1978, so he is a Hall of Famer. He is a ten-time All Star. He is a two-time NBA scoring champ. Mm. He is a he is a 1956 NBA champion. He's a four-time All-NBA member, and he's the 1952 MVP. His career stats, he has played 713 games in the NBA. He averaged 22.8 points per game, 8.6 rebounds, and 2.3 assists. Now, that that looks like all-star numbers. That looks, that looks like great numbers to me. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to put this in the beginning. But uh, there's not much highlights of him, so I have this little mixtape, and I have a couple of photos. So, so, so sometime in this video, you're just gonna hear me, and I'm gonna try to make it quick. In his rookie year, he had he had an amazing rookie year. He averaged 17 points. He had 10 rebounds, two assists, shot 79% from the free throw line, 40%. You no, know, his second year in the league. He averaged 25 points a game. 25 points a game for a second-year player. Yes, 25 a game with 11 rebounds, 2.6 assists, shot 81% from the free throw line, shot 44% uh, field goal percentages. Um, <coughs> his third and fourth years in the league, he, he did not play. Because he had to serve in the military. But in his fifth season, his season coming back, he entered his prime at the age of 26. Where he did dip in stats, but that was because he hasn't played basketball in two years at, during that time frame. He averaged, 20, <coughs> he averaged 21 points. He had nine assists. Shot 77% from, from, um, from free throw. And he did shoot 39%. From regular, mm. um, so basically, this I I didn't go through all of his stats because I didn't want to make this a super long video. But basically, from what you can tell, he was a great player. He was a great player. Um, he was a great player. Um, he <coughs> he's one of the most disrespected guys of his time because you probably. And if you are a younger fan, I would say you started watching basketball 2000s, 2010s, maybe even 90s and 80s. Uh, you probably don't know who this who this guy is, and uh, it's it's very sad. Um, he, in my opinion, he's one of he's probably the second best small forward uh, uh, of his time besides Elgin Baylor. He's probably the best small forward of his time besides Elgin Baylor. And that's all. Uh, peace. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I will make more commentaries like this. this. Is my first ever commentary ever. So peace. Bye. More commentaries on the way.